Hi, hi, everybody. We are back. Hello. Yes. <laughs> Olay. I'm done with you. <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome to another week of your Zia Photography Podcast. We are a, for those that don't know, we are a G-Pose Happy Community. Where we go in and we explore the world of Eorzea through the beauty of G-Pose. We help to educate, to encourage, and to hopefully ignite the flames of people interested in Final Fantasy XIV and being able to explore the world in a way that is a little bit different than just flying through the dungeon and saying, Ooh, I leveled up. <laughs> We're hoping you level up as a G pose. Um, so for all of you that know this, we normally go through all the um we've been going through the expansions as a series and these past month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the past month. We have been exploring Shadowbringers. So this is the last expansion before Endwalker shows up on us November 19th. So because of that, we wanted to give uh, Shadowbringers a wonderful and beautiful exploration journey. And today we have migrated from Raktika Forest and Ilmeg and have made our way to, oh my God. Nobody sees that. We have made our <laughs> way down. <laughs> I saw it. That was beautiful. Look at that. Oh, look, look at, at that, that. Shakura! <laughs> yes, almost one year of streaming. Actually, yeah, our, our one year of streaming. We will be... We started in December. Yeah, did we start? yeah we started in December. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, December will actually be our one year anniversary of streaming on Twitch. Yay! Yay! Stream anniversary. <laughs> I know it, does, it doesn't seem like it, does it? No, it mm -hmm. does not seem like it. But, um, oh, Lord, why are y'all buying so much today? But, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I lost my whole chain of thought. Oh, okay, here. So we have, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we have migrated from Ilmag and Rektiki Forest, Rektika Forest, and we have now made our way under the sea. There's no Ariel or Sebastian, but there are the Undo Cups. And so, the music is beautiful. It is beautiful. Mm -hmm. So we will be actually exploring the Tempest today. So this wonderful realm of the Tempest. And we will also be adding in one Explorer Mode dungeon today. Because we consider it part of the Tempest. So we will be also exploring Amara. So yay! We're excited! Woo. And I have reset for you. Thank you. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, before I start, before we start our adventures in exploring the Tempest, what we're going to do is we're going to show our monthly winner for October. Um, so for those that don't know, we have a weekly, uh, G pose challenge that we issue out and we always ask our participants to always, uh, post into our discord channel where the community will vote on the best photos that were submitted and out of the person with the most votes get the win for the week and all of those weekly winners they all go into a nice little prize box and one name get pulled out to become our monthly uh winner and they get a 20 dollars gift card well not gift card quick online credit to the mock station so, you go take it away. I don't see nothing yet. Hold on. I am doing this. 
all right um so last week's theme um actually was ghosts and goblins well unfortunately we did not have any entries for that week but we went ahead and did the monthly winner and the winner for the monthly and the twenty dollar credits for the final fantasy online store was Karat. as you see her lovely werewolf picture was randomly chosen and she is enjoying her prize <laughs> <laughs> so please go ahead and follow them on the twitter and instagram and that's it for our monthly winner uh this week's aorzia weekly um theme is paladin as you know it's november well this is the first theme for november so of course we're counting down pretty much to in walker starting tomorrow is going to be the first so yes excited but then begin the final countdown on this uh so yes uh this theme this week's theme is currently paladin um and also what is special for this month is that because we will be taking a break as far as staff so they can also enjoy uh the expansion uh we're going to be choosing two winners the first and second winner of each theme only for november um basically if not we will only have three winners so go ahead you know come to our discord read the rules submit any of your submission and say if you do not get first pick hey you know if you're the second place favorite you're you'll be crowned as a winner as well winners so this is definitely a good chance to be crowned as winners because over once you become a winner for the week you go into the prize pool yes each of our weekly winners will be put into a end of year pot where you have a chance to be randomly selected for a 75 dollar credit to the final fantasy 14 store at the end of the year think about so, how much dye you can buy with that <laughs> exactly so think if you win for the week you can buy with that oh goodness <laughs> You know, the male bun buns are coming out. You know, Fantasia would be perfect for that. And then there's also what? It's a 50% off for certain items in the store right now. Mm -hmm. we need to figure out how long that's going to last. But um, yeah, any anybody who wins as a weekly winner gets put into the end of year pool, but also in the monthly pool. So if you win for December and then you turn around and get selected also for the end of year, guess what? That's ninety five dollars. <laughs> Hold up! <laughs> I might want to put my <laughs> two cents and my two little screenshots, <laughs> my two cents screenshots <laughs> in for December. Look, that's ninety five dollars. You go hand with for Christmas. <laughs> Think about this for a second. <laughs> that's a lot. Ooh, that's so a lot. yeah. Like as long as you're a weekly win winner starting from April 1st when everything was revamped every weekly winner is put into the end of year pot it doesn't matter if you won once in May you won once in July guess what you get double you get double into that pool so it counts if you make a weekly winner at least for each month and we have some stuff planned for next year too so you know, go ahead, join our Discord. Get in them, join get in, in them prizes. Yes, join in for the weekly contest. Me. Hey. So, with that being said, we are back and we are going to be doing the exploration of the Tempest. So feel free to sit back, relax, join the ride, ask questions, have conversation with us and explore the wonderful world of the underwater sea. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, before we go, I do need to get into my Halloween costume, though. Oh, go ahead. Ooh. <laughs> oh, and there, and there goes Soraya. She doesn't get to see it. Oh, I'm probably sure I'll see it. 
pictures. You'll put it in your picture. <laughs> and I won't have nothing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> Except for somebody to just roll their car all the way down there. Who jacked up my shot? <laughs> wow. Someone with no manners. None How whatsoever. How dare they? You Assian. Wow. <laughs> How dare you call them that? Assian! That's the lowest of low <laughs> insults. <laughs> Actually, I kind of want to see something. <clears throat> no, not that one. Ha <laughs> ha What? Like It's so bright. Oh, that it's looks so, so cool bright. though. <laughs> it's so bright. <laughs> that is so cool. I love it. Oh, that's bright. This is just on normal though, so I can mess with some of the other ones. Oh, I love this. Look at this. This looks so nice. Ooh. This is Nanikos. I saw. Well, I've been playing with hers quite a bit. It, you know what it reminds me of? A coloring book. Yeah. Color and thin the line. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that. The purple is actually really pretty, too. I actually love this one. Okay, apparently it's just not one of your silhouettes. This is so gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Oh, that is. Mm hmm. <clears throat> there we go. It is so pretty. So, what are you all going in as for MSQ? Bard, no question. Astro, because <laughs> I need to relearn it. Wow. I mean, in my lawn, though. I mean, no, but. <laughs> No, I, I mean, for every expansion, usually I go with, like I said, I 
it's been said before but usually when i go into an expansion i go in as a healer anyway because mm-hmm. my husband is a tank mm-hmm. so yeah you know it's gonna be so many sages and reapers oh lord don't even remind me <laughs> yes yeah don't, I mean, don't get me wrong. Okay, so I, I don't mind, you know, people trying out the new classes because, you know, that's what everybody does. I mean, I'm definitely not going to be one to say, no, I'm not trying out any of the new classes. That would be a lie. But, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I am going, I am not going to... Um, I'm definitely not going to take on the stance of taking it in first. I, as somebody that kind of (laughs) survived through, oh, this is a really gorgeous picture. Even at a vertical shot. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. This is gorgeous. Um... I'm I'm going in as a summoner. That's I mean, well, you're gonna be getting used to the new summoner too. I am gonna be getting used to the new summoner. So I'm I'm, I'm excited for you for that. <laughs> well, I'm excited just because, you know, I'm a summoner main at heart. When I first started this game, that was that that was the class that I started off as. So Shakur has heard this before. But when I first, um, when I first did this game, uh, when I first started playing, I actually wanted to be a ninja. And the person that brought me into the game couldn't tell me how to be a ninja. (laughs) So, he, he, he didn't, he didn't know. So, and you know, it was... I'm being a person I am. I never wanted to look online at first to go look to find out where it was. So I had, so I just picked another class. I was like, okay, what's the starting class <laughs> that I can pick up? And uh, it was interesting. I'd never seen any of the jobs before. Like, I, you know how like some people go and they look up the jobs prior to picking it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't do any of that. <laughs> so. <laughs> I just basically went through and was like, okay, what's this class? What's this class? What's this class? What's this class? And I like basically went down asking, um, actually went down and actually started asking, you know, I asked about every single class, what did they do, what weapons they used, everything else. And of all the classes that they named, Arcanist sound the most interesting to me. So that's what I went with. And uh, the original intention was to be a DPS. So I was going to try to be a summoner, which I was a summoner. And then um, I turned around and I was like, oh, okay, now I got, I want to level a, a healer just so I can see what it feel like to heal. It, just to find out that I already had a healer. I just need to do the job quest. <laughs> so <laughs> there was that. So after that, I've always just gone through as summoner. That's that's always been my thing. I've always leveled the summoner first. I've always learned, you know, relearned this toolkit, rotations, everything, and then turn around and have to go raid as healer, <laughs> which turns out to be scholar, or um, you know, sometimes range DPS. Like physical range DPS, so you know, you you end up with those moments. But no, so for me, that's the reason why I'm picking up. Um, summoner is my baby. It is my starting class. Like I can't, I don't want to leave it behind. I can't, I I cannot constructively leave it behind. (laughs) It would just seem so wrong to do it to Summoner. (laughs) 
Understandable. Yes, I really love this yeah. picture. See, I'm gonna have fun just getting to experience a whole new expansion for the first time. Oh, that like, is! It's your first time doing it! it. Yo, because <clears throat> I started, I think, 5.2, 5.3. So this will be the first time I've gone through a brand new expansion right when it came out. Mm -hmm. I'm Ooh. very excited. I know you are. Like, I don't blame you, because I would be excited. Yes. Like, I started with Bart, and I've made the promise that I will never change from Bart. Because, mm -hmm. one, I just, I love it too much mm -hmm. and it's both simple and complex like in its own way which is I don't know how to, ex to explain it but it's just trust me on that <laughs> <laughs> like no other class that I've played except maybe dancer has just felt right well maybe 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 Red Mage, maybe. Big maybe, though. <laughs> like, it's fun, but I'm pretty sure I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> on Dancer? No, 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 on Red Mage. Oh. Yeah, you're better than me. D Dancer is Simon Says. <laughs> it's just fancy. Which, I mean, that's an overgeneralization of it, but at the same time. I mean, I like the answer, but, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to say dancer is a bad class. It really isn't. I actually, do, I actually enjoy dancer. I, the only thing is I kind of feel like dancer is very, after you play it for a while, it seems very, I know there is a door here. I may have went the wrong way. Um, it, it gets to a point that it's almost like it's, it feels mechanical, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to... Whenever we're doing, um, like, a raid or, like, our daily 80 roulettes, whatever that may... Whatever... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That may be. <clears throat> Sometimes I'll just run dancer. You good? Um, I'll just run dancer because I don't feel like thinking. Like yeah. I actually, I think more with bard than I do with dancer. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to go no thoughts, so I'll go and dancer. Just like wee. But also, I can AOE without having to be targeted to something, and I just I like that. Mm -hmm. Wish bard had that. It's like mm -hmm. my one complaint with Bard is they don't have it. Why do I know that there's a drop down here and I'm not seeing it? Hey, I'm not seeing it. And I know there's a drop down in here. <laughs> well, I, I know I that you could drop down okay hold on so you would come in this way I'm mad I have to actually retrace steps as if you're going in here for the first time there you go went crazy I mean that's just how it be sometimes I ain't crazy I mean we're all a little crazy Just a little. <laughs> um, no, but I was saying like it. Eh. I go in because it's an easy go-to class. Yeah. 
But I tend to do that. Classes that I kind of brain dead, no. I will go to. I will use them for roulettes and such. Now what I'm not looking forward to, full 80, full 90s, that's going to be a mood. <laughs> oh. oh no, you're right. Uh-huh. You chose that life. I did. I can't really complain too much, sort of, kind of, I can though, but... <laughs> no, 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 you chose that life. You chose that life and you have to stick with your decision. But no, I did. I, I I definitely will not do what I did last time, which was pretty much in about two and a half weeks. I was Omni 90. Woo. That is something I did not want to do. <laughs> Ever. You chose that life. This is so pretty. No, but yeah, I'm 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 not looking forward to it, but I am at the same time. It's it's that that initial grind that kind of kills you at first. Because yeah. it's like everything is just like, oh, I got all these classes to level. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to make the same mistake I did with the, this expansion. And oh. that is, like, if the oh, relic oh. stuff mm -hmm. okay, is like, is anything like it was this time. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a bunch of stuff to get things ready for all of the relics I want. Oh. <laughs> Each step of the way, so I am prepared. Like, um, my FC leader did it that way, and he was done with his relic stuff, like, months before I was, because I decided, like, later on, oh, well, maybe I'll get my dancer relic with my bard one. Oh, I'm maybe I'll get really this quick. one. Okie dokie. Look at this. Oh, Ooh. Right? I like it. I like it a lot. What frosted glass did. Ooh. Um, I didn't go for relic this time around, to be honest. It was fine the first round, but then when they initially came out with all when when they brought out the rest of the stuff for it, I was like, "Yeah, no, I'm good at five thirty. Though I probably will go back and do the white mage one because the white mage one is really pretty. But yeah, yeah. outside of that, yeah, I would not. I wasn't a fan of doing that. I just got real excited because it was the first time I got to do a relic, and I was like, ooh, <laughs> current relic, I'll do it. And I did it for Bard because, obviously, main class, might as well do it for, if I'm going to do it, do it for the main class. Right. And then I decided after, I was like, well, Dancer is my secondary, so I should probably do it for Dancer. Hmm. And then I thought about doing it for Machinist, and I was like, <laughs> no, no. You said mistakes were made. Like, I started Machinist and just went, 
That's fine. <laughs> this is really nice too. Pencil? Ooh. Right. And I love how it makes all the colors kind of pop. Like, the places that should have colors, it makes them pop so well. All right, I am back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. Look at pencil. Pencil. This is with frosted glass on it. Nice. See, I would take a picture of the area where I'm at, but there's too many mobs around here, so mm -hmm. now this sneak mm -hmm. effect is going to be around me. <laughs> Like, I love the sneak effect. And then it'd be like, okay, let me make sure nothing around me so I can take this picture real quick. <laughs> it do be like that, though. You gotta get either up high, or if you really want close, you gotta get sneak effect in. Oh my god, look at this. Ooh. Right. Mm -hmm. This is too beautiful. I haven't even left where the crystal is, so I kind of sort of have, but yeah. Kind of sort of. I've just been yeah. underground this whole time. Right. <laughs> I'm underground, but I'm just not. You know. I just love how like it's just like that when you really get to explore it yeah ooh man here's your posterization <sighs> posterization does really well down here especially mm -hmm. in like on the plant life and stuff. <laughs> this is actually really pretty too. This is color marker one. Mm -hmm. I like it down here because it's dark. Marker 2 does very well as well. I forgot it. today was Halloween, so people are knocking at the door. <laughs> oh, you didn't put a big old bucket out there? Take no, at your own risk. This year. Take at your own risk. We don't have a little table to put candy on. Aww. But we have lots of kids in the neighborhood, and I have a bowl.
Honestly, I could be down here forever taking screenshots just because the music is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we, we're including the city as well, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. We're, I just wanted to make sure. Oh yeah, we're not splitting them up. Nope. Okay. Trust me, that was a discussion. <laughs> That's why I'm the, headed over there. That's why the uh That is why the um dungeon came into play. Fair enough. One of those just making double sure before I go spend time over there. Well, you spend some time over there. Alright, did you want? And then they never saw Nyan again. That could be a thing. Quite literally, if they let me live there, I would live there. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if they opened up housing for Amara, I, I promise you. <laughs> as much as everybody wanted Ishgar housing, I, I promise you people would be in down here. I can already hear it from Yoshi P now. It's like, y'all wanted Ishgar housing for so long. And now you want this, you ungrateful little shit. <laughs> <laughs> he would just take a bigger gulp of that wine. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, these ungrateful people. <laughs> oh, they'll get it, but they won't like it. Make this the ugliest place ever. Oh my god, he probably would. Is this what you wanted? Are you not entertained? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that kind of energy. But are you not entertained? Oh man. Pull a um, Sakurai from Nintendo oh. thing. Never ask me for anything ever again. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> And textures are getting used a lot down here today. Right? Tone down some of that luminescent flora. Oh, look at color market one. <laughs> My favorite filter. <laughs> My favorite filter is doing such work. It is. I am. Um... Sick with it. Oh, Color Marker Two I, is doing some good work too, though. I just love Color Marker One because it's more like deeper colors. Uh huh. Like to me, Color Marker Two has a bit of a little bit more washed out look. I mean, it's it's nice, but it's like it's trying to make the overall picture a little bit more brighter, but it looks a little washed out. To me. Yeah, you know me. Oh no, no, no! I give all of them a chance. Trailer is to me. It's just like you really want a color to pop like this. Use trailer. And like especially if you want like accent colors to pop out. Trailer is perfect for that. Trailer to me just has like a more of like a green over, like overlay to me. It does, but. It does have the, it's more so if you're trying to get a very specific kind of look. I normally use it when I have darker colors anyway as the base and I really want to highlight the, the pop colors. Mm -hmm. To me, this is like pop color. Well, not pop color, color pop. And you kind of want to get that, mm -hmm. yeah, and you kind of want to get that, uh, what is it? It's like a luminescent look. Uh-huh. If you want that kind of look, that would be it. 
photoluminescent like that. I would say that does a really good job with it. Ooh, strengthen effects does wonders too. Especially if you want something really dark mm -hmm. and very bright. I like this. It gives you that alien look. And then like you're in here and I'm looking at myself on the screen and I feel so small. <laughs> Look at my character. It's like everything feels so small. Even though this is like a really good angle for this. What you did, Frosted Glass. I love this. Look at this. Well, I'm fascinated with this red plant. I just am. Ain't nothing wrong with that. The things you do to try to take pictures. Mm-hmm. Things you try to do to oh. Oh, this is scored. Okay, come on, Sky. Move. I just need you to <laughs> shift. Bless you. <laughs> Oh, that's so gorgeous. Hopefully that came out right. I don't, don't want to have to keep here for like 30 minutes trying to take these pictures of this. You know the nice thing about it is the one thing that I do love about that game, this game, is that they put so much depth into stuff that you always feel like you could go down so much deeper. Mm-hmm.
and I'm sorry if I'm clearing my throat a lot. It is actually really chilly in Florida right now. Oh, how chilly? Um, what was the temperature? I just went outside to take like some trash out before this, and I was like, oh, wow, I actually need a jacket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I've been living in Florida for over like, what, 10 years? It's 63 outside. <clears throat> Usually in the fall, it's like close to freaking 90. Now it's like actually cooling off. Uh -huh. It's 80 here. On a train. Oh, got it. I, I just just a salty look on my face. <laughs> I'm I'm not even gonna sit here and lie about this. <laughs> like it's like I'm not even gonna sugarcoat that. It's just a salty look on my face. She's like it's 80. <laughs> Yeah, because you're the you're the one that's up north. <laughs> I am. I'm telling you, I'm going back down south. I can't deal with this. I like <laughs> I snow. Will. I don't like to be in snow. Let me tell you my <laughs> thing with snow. Snow is pretty to look at. It is great to be like looking outside the window, and it's like, oh, it's so pretty. Blah 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 blah. It's great. It is not cool to walk in to drive in, to be in. It is an abomination. It makes everything so <laughs> bad. I'm, I can't deal with this life. No, I, I, I'm with you on that one. I was in A school, um, you know, of course, boot camp and everything like that. And I, my A school was in Virginia. And when I first got, probably like two weeks after I got there and right around my PRT, mm -hmm. it snowed. Oh, so no. yeah get pretty pretty much of course we didn't have the option for like the treadmill or elliptical or being inside no we had to run in the snow on the sidewalk you talking about my chest was my lungs were burning mm -mm. i was just like it was so cold i can't i love the snow i love being in the snow <laughs> i miss the snow <laughs> Like, uh, I'm in agreement. It's nice to go out, and, like, for a little bit if it's around your house. You're not doing any driving. And you can go back inside where it's all nice, toasty, warm, mm -hmm. and everything like that. You know, if you got a fireplace, sit in front of that with some hot chocolate. Cuddle up with a loved one if you have one. But, yeah, it's kind of for the birds. Like, I, mm, I, I was yeah. good. <laughs> I'm like that, too. It's for the birds for me. This is really pretty, look. Ooh. Right. Yeah, I was doing that too. Some oh, I'm sorry, Dave. Dave is not amused by you. He's I mean he got out of the cat bed and now he's like right in front of my chair, so my foot went down and it was like it, I squished him a little bit. Not hard, but you know. He, he's like, Hi, I'm here, Mom. Hi. He just turns over on his belly because he like belly rubs. Aww. I would want a cat, but we already have a rat dog. <laughs> I see the picture of him. He just, he just there. <laughs> I just say he lived his best dog life. That's all I can really say about the way that he goes about his daily life. Is that he is living his best dog life. That's it. That's all it is. He lived his best dog life all day. Every day. He don't even care. I'm loving some of these pictures. I am definitely loving some of these pictures. Oh, okay, this is gorgeous. Like, go down. This place is just so huge. And from what they said, basically, M. Walker is 30% bigger. 
I'm like, oh lord. Look, just give me another Amara, and we are Gucci. Oh my god, look at this photo. Mm -hmm. This is just too good. Is it bad I turned my volume up just so I could hear the transition in between the g acoustic guitar to the piano? Mm-mm. Nope, because I'm living for this. It's just too good. This right here is just, this is absolutely gorgeous. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. I'm living for the day that Final Fantasy be like, let's on our next leg of of exploring in Shadowbringers or exploring Eorzea, and they show up with this when they go Amara. Oh, the amount of pictures they are going to get spammed with. Courtesy of Eorzea Photography. Oh, y'all gonna catch it. Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> Ooh, y'all gonna catch it. Y'all don't even know. Oh, wrong thing. Ooh, y'all gonna catch it. it. It's gonna be glorious. Anybody going to the Cave of Wonders? I have not gone to the Cave of Wonders because I went the other way. Okay. I went I went through it a little bit. Okay. I went to the other Cave of Wonder that leads to the city, though. Alright, so I don't have to go that way. I just, I just love this city. I really, I just love the city down here. And I have to take the obligatory picture of it because, you know, reasons. This has to look really good like this. Echo mm -hmm. does beautifully here. It does. Pastel one, I like too. Why it kind of gives down? it that more softer or um, nostalgic feel for mm -hmm. me. It does. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay, so remember I was talking about like things that I would love to see that SC added. So like mm -hmm. right here with the screen effects. I love this, right? But mm -hmm. I feel like what would make this even better is if I was able to take pencil three and you see how strong this effect is. Mm -hmm. I would love to be able to tone this back. Still be in pencil three, but be able to kind of lessen 
how strong it comes across. Mm-hmm. Like the brightness adjustment. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. But it would be like, because like, like right now, like with this, this is the perfect brightness. But if you could just tone it down, pencil three, so it's not as, like maybe it was tone it down to a fact that like only the sky came out more so than the buildings on it. This would be perfect. I mean, the picture right now is beautiful as is, but I can't, that's like, I really would love to see a little bit more of being able to to adjust the effects, the screen effects. The way I actually kind of see G pose, which is um, it's funny to me the way I see the van- vanilla G pose just in the game. It's like the free version of Photo Express <laughs> <laughs> because it does the overall picture. Like, the mm-hmm. only way you will be able to be able to tweak it how you want is if you pay for the full version of Adobe. Yeah. Or at least do the monthly payment mm-hmm. for Adobe. <laughs> Pretty Please, much. Essie, don't, don't monetize this. We like this. <laughs> we just want more features. That's all. Like, you don't have to do full-blown tweaks on it because then I realize mm-hmm. that eats up a lot of space and it takes a it lot does. of resources. But those little bit of things like that would make this would make it a lot better to be able to play with mm-hmm. and be able to make a lot more gorgeous photos without you having to feel like <laughs> you have to take it in the post processing. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't have any problem with post processing because I post process a lot of pictures sometimes just to do like some correctiveness and stuff. But it would be great if I could minimize having to do that in game. Yes. Trust me. As I said, one of my major goals in game was to basically take pictures well enough on on um, vanilla G pose mm-hmm. where I don't have to do post processing. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Like, the only thing, like I said, I really only ask for is, like, they come up with more functions for, for, like, the G-Pose function. Like, I would love something that will have, like, the color pop. Mm -hmm. And you can adjust which colors you want to pop. Yeah, I can understand that. This gives such a nostalgic feel. Mm-hmm. Like your grandpa telling you a story. I used to live in the big city when they were first building skyscrapers. I tell you, when I first came down here, <laughs> the first thing I said was if, um, uh, the Dark Knight met Big O <laughs> and they had oh, a baby. Like the Batman animated mm-hmm. series? The Batman animated <laughs> series Gotham met Big O and they both got together had a baby. This was Amaral. And this was the city. Yep, this was the city. <laughs> <gasps> yes! What? Ooh. Uh, what? Ooh. Ooh. I like Ooh. <laughs> Oh yeah, Color Mark girl. You want to know how many pictures I took of this with Color Mark for one already? <laughs> Chef, it's gorgeous. I'm I'm actually trying to get away from Color Mark. <laughs> but this popped. This, this I know I I know so good. I know this I popped know. so good. Oh, I'm gonna have to come back here on my personal and make a video of this. And the nice thing about it is like I love this because it's like you see the varying colors in the windows and you can keep seeing back and see there's more and more and more. So I'm like, oh no, yes! Oh, this made this pop even more ambiance. 
So I was actually in the Shadowbringers gameplay one, and now this is Ambiance. So this made this like, boom! Hi! Welcome to Amara. We're all of your luxury living pleasure. All your luxury living accommodations are already provided for you. <coughs> you don't even care how much money it's, it's gonna cost you to live here. You just like, where did, I, where did I sign up at? Be broke within like 30 days. What are you talking about 30 days? Three, three days at the most. Look, I feel like I can afford this in ramen noodle diets. It, it could be wow. good. Wow. Wow. Well, you better go ahead and buy your food beforehand then. Right. Once every six months, go to Sam's Club run of ramen noodles. I love this. I keep bumping my mouse and it keeps popping over the OBS. <laughs> So three actually looks nice too here. I just hate that it makes it more greeny. But you can see the colors in the windows a lot better with pastel three. Okay, now Echo does very beautifully as a nostalgia. Ooh, strength and effect. Great. Almost ran into a level 79 monster trying to go over a ridge. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> I like this. I mean, this really is like Batman the animated series. <laughs>
This is actually really nice like this too. Shift and effects is nice down here. Mm hmm. It's very, it does very well <laughs> here. I just wish I could tone down the 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 surface of the water, mm -hmm. the, the, aka sky. <laughs> <laughs> we well, see, and is. that's where I was saying, like, to be able to kind of use the screen effects, but having a way to kind of tweak those too would make mm -hmm. this. Very nice. A cell three does beautiful down in here. I just hate that it makes the spotlight look a little bit more glaring than I would really mm -hmm. like it to. I love that it pops out the uh, architecture, but when you have the mm -hmm. lights in there, you kind of have to take that into consideration too. The echo dust is beautiful. Probably need to start wrapping up so we can go into Amara. It is mm -hmm. 708. Let me know when y'all was ready. Because again, we can always come back later yeah. to take any missing photos. Indeed. Yeah, let's go ahead. I'm ready. All right. Well, let's get ready to go. And to Amoroth. Oh, Sarai, you'll get to see my Halloween costume. I will. Why all of us on the same vehicle? <laughs> Are you me for Halloween? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm done with All right. You. <laughs> Don't forget to reset. I mean, I mean, once we blow the whistle, we are going to have to re-reset anyway. So if we end up in the same place, just be like, reset. <laughs> if you think about it. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Ooh. There she go on that, on that, on that horse. You already know, know where I'm going. Uh-huh. <laughs> and if there is no <clears throat> if, ands, or buts about this. Oh, wait a minute. The one thing I keep forgetting to do is look backwards.
like this. Ooh, and that was strength and effect. <laughs> You're good. He is having a ball. <laughs> I mean, it is Halloween. Spooky time. Spooky scary skeleton. Right two. Hello. Mm-hmm. Right two does really good with the I used that in when we did Hallmeister Switch. Ooh, bright two with pencil three. Mm-hmm. Oh, very good. Change this angle up. Text came up. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
You know, I appreciate even in Explorer mode, like, the stuff that pops up on the screen still does. Mm -hmm. Like, the, the text. remember doing picture like this for something else. Right. I will forever love this dungeon. Mm -hmm. Me too. I will not enjoy getting it in roulette though. <laughs> it, it, you know, it's it's bad to say that because you don't want it to be like that, but you'd be like, mm. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes people just make very poor decisions, <laughs> and it makes the dungeon go by so much long, like slower. Like, nothing against the dungeon itself. It's already a fairly slow-moving dungeon because everything hits so hard. Mm hmm So, having, like, a, a... an overzealous tank or... a new healer into the dungeon, things like that. And this is nothing against new healers. It's usually with overzealous tanks and new healers combined. Because the tank doesn't want to listen. Or the DPS that keeps dying. Or the DPS that keeps dying, oh god. <laughs> Ooh, even in normal view, this is. Mm -hmm. In normal filter, this is gorgeous. Yeah, you don't. Oh, I just caught that. Yeah, I'm doing the exact same thing. <laughs> Like, just even the normal, especially for this shot, is gorgeous. It, it's a very beautiful dungeon. It's, and it's, like, even now, I am so stirred by this music. Like, this is, uh, mm hmm I'd say this is definitely one of my favorite dungeons. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely Shadowbringers. my favorite dungeon. I mean, I love, and you know, I love Katana Revolve, but this by far is absolutely my, yeah. This is definitely my favorite. And it's like, I don't even want to use any screen effects in here. Mm -mm. I really don't. I kind of don't either. I kind of want to keep it true to its form.
like literally it's it's kind of rare for me to just use normal but in this dungeon it's like you don't need the added effects though mm -mm. really wish you can fly in here though oh girl and you know what i i'm, I'm glad we kind of don't because i would be so disappointed because of the fact that we would not be able to get as close as we would want to if you think about True. it Like right now, I see something that I really, really like, but I know I'm not going to be able to get that close to him. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I'm going to see if I can finesse this. Oh no, Nian is in here. Okay. Hopefully she's finessing that. <laughs> finessing what? <laughs> Uh, the thing in the back that's lasering behind, like, in front of you. Yeah, it's really close at this point, so it's just, like, trying to finesse it to... Mm-hmm. Ah, I'm gotcha. trying to see. Yeah, because that was trying to do the same thing. I'm trying to see uh, if he shows up. I don't see him right now. Uh, hold on. He's up now. I just saw him. Yeah, yeah I see when, him. You, when you go in, you can't see, see him. him. No. Nope. Oh God, look behind you. Oh, oh. Right, I'm already on it. <laughs> All right, you good. See, that's the whole thing too. I have to remember to sometimes look, be look behind me. Mm -hmm. I mean, cause even this, back here a little bit further where you came from it's just like i didn't even realize there was a huge chandelier or at the top of a building that came crashing down mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. darn you can't see him from in here mm -mm. Mm -mm. You actually have to come out. All these people. Oh, it hurts. It does. And if N. Walker wants me to cry at the very beginning, play this. But if you really think about it, it's kind of like this is what because this we do have spoilers of spoilers we are going to talk about it because we're literally 20 days <laughs> 19 days from end walker at this point it's just kind of like this is what Emmett Silk saw he literally recreated the whole thing and you're just like yeah I can see why you are like you are It's just like you gave up so much and you just want it back. You did so much and you just want it back. Okay. Um. And of course the last part, I love this area so much.
Oh, hello. Hello. Oh. Ooh, color marker two, though. Look at this one. So you pencil three. You did beautifully. All strength and effects. I think just every filter works in some capacity over here. It really does. <laughs> okay, we still fall off the edge here. We oh, yep. some more <laughs> oh it doesn't take that off mm -hmm. that's fine
I'm like, uh, I'm sorry if I'm like super quiet, but it's like oh. this stuff right here. Oh, we're all oh quiet. Oh my god. It's, <coughs> it hurts your heart. It really does. I'm gonna definitely have to come back on um, my primal one just because of like certain emotes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Took a screenshot here. Put it in the contest. I got <laughs> one of them. I got bluebird earrings out of it. Nice. If I need to reset, just let me know. Oh no, you're good. I took you out the phone. <laughs> Why? Just take out. I did. I got take it out.
<laughs> I thought I had one more step. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Look. Wow. Just over the side. <laughs> Tired of this mortal world. Just leap off. Wee! <laughs> wow! The wee! <laughs> He's fine. Everything's fine.
<laughs> oh, hello. Have you two come to admire the destruction of yes. the star? Get picture. It is. Look at you doing personal pictures. Yeah, not really. Oh. Time I'm really taking personal pictures. Yes. About freaking time. Here, you keep up to taking Wow! I feel attacked right there. Yes, you are being attacked. I don't know how I feel about that. Hmm. Don't be attacking me. It's too late. It's already happened. No, I just prefer to do it offline versus online. That's fair. Understandable. holding our black kitten in his lap while he's watching his show. His show. Aww. And, he just and up the there black kitten team. just eating it up, Amy. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. Good job. What's up? Tomorrow's Monday. That's school. <laughs> yeah. He said no. He said aww. <laughs> I'm like, okay. yeah, that's school. Oh, gun. Uh, no. Alright, <laughs> so. Um. I think at this point. Oh, I should probably sit, huh? Because y'all are sitting down. And <laughs> unlike me, and I'm not trying to fall off. Look, it was an accident. <laughs> 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 so with that 
we're going to go on a brief break while we each grab three photos <laughs> that we thought were our best ones for this evening and then we will be back to yes. show them off yeah yes
We are back, and we got our photos to show everybody. Uh, make sure, like Mia said, move around something. Yep. <laughs> yep. I got a notification that said, you've been active, inactive for five minutes. If you've been inactive for ten minutes, we're kicking you from the duty. Right. And this this layout is just too pretty to pass up. Right. Uh, let me go myself in HUD layout. <laughs> All right, so... We're going to go ahead and we're going to start showing off photos. Uh, we're just going to just, I'm just going to go from start to finish. There you go, full screen. You can see that a lot better. Okay, so apparently this is mine. Uh -huh. The game doesn't know no good. <laughs> Oh, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's that's what see. That's the name it come out as. Whose fault is that? Everybody's. Uh, mm. so this is mine, <laughs> <laughs> and this is going down. If you're following, like, if you're following through MSQ, where you have to go down to go towards the city of Amara. So, and this is like the beginning of that little cavern area. We can see all the nice little coral and. Plant life coming out and everything. And I really like this. I think this was an echo. So it made all the colors kind of pop out a little bit more. It's really pretty. It's gorgeous. Like, look at all the, the like, detail popping out of it and shit. Mm -hmm. It looks good. Aww. Like, especially with the uh, ones on the ceiling. Like the detail, it makes you think that you're actually looking at that, like, <clears throat> like real life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like it's a theme or something. Yep, it really does, and I really love that about it. So, next one is actually coming out of that cave area, and you start going back into your down a little bit further as you're traveling down into to go towards the next cave area but you're leaving mm -hmm. the area that just this picture was taking care was taken at and i really love this one just because i like that this is and this is with strength and effect so i like that it made all the colors pop up a lot especially at the top of the coral plant and i like that the little coral at the bottom still has that nice little detailed effects as well as the pieces of coral that attach to the rock. I especially like that I caught Amaroth kind of fading in and out in the background. <laughs> yep, very good detail. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I believe I was around in that area mm -hmm. before too, and I saw that. I was like, oh, that's pretty. I got another picture of something else though. <laughs> something, th th something that's a very bad breath and variety. Oh, no, yeah, no. Yeah. No, this is what I got for there. And then, of course, 
Found in the corner. <laughs> in in Amaroth itself. That's yeah. That's I mean, going into this dungeon first off, like in seeing all of that, especially after you talk to a bunch of the NPCs and you just like, oh no, no. I, I was know. your little no. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely hurts to see it. I mean, it just Shadowbringers did that. It was a very emotional at least and for a lot of people it was a very emotional expansion. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm So get ready for in walking because it's the same writer. <laughs> right. I know. It's like, yay! Oh, oh no. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I learned my lesson with Shadowbringers. My roommate has a Costco membership, or her parents do one of those things. I'm just going to go there and get like two of those industrial things of t Kleenex. <laughs> Probably get me through half the expansion. Wow. No, this one, I, I don't know. I'll, whenever I round the corner, even going in the dungeon, is I kind of pause a little bit just right here. Because I feel like of all the places in here, this is the part that really hits you when you're starting to see the bodies on the ground. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. Chorus next. Boo. <laughs> oh, boo hoo. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. That is basically when you're going through MSQ mm -hmm. and you're trying to get over to Amaroth and you're going down like these system of caves and the I don't know what they're called, but they basically form the bridges across. Caliban. Yeah. So like I didn't know what they were called, but <laughs> but basically it's like one of those basically when it bridges over the huge uh cavern. Mm -hmm. and everything and you're just walking across and like as you're walking across if you're paying attention you will start seeing stuff and you're like wait wait <laughs> it's like what is that in the distance well actually I think at this part as far as for MSQ when you're getting across you actually don't see that because mm -hmm. I think there's like a shield that, um, yeah, um, until uh, maybe because remember if you got somebody that's taking you across there you actually kind of see depending on how mm -hmm. far you're looking up so i don't know yeah it's, it kind of it kind of depends i can't remember clearly but I, I know it's like some point like there's a big shield and then you get to the door and then you unlock it and then you will see it yeah i remember until you came out of the the cave basically that led you to like the the doorway down there was a shield kind of over it wasn't well it wasn't really technically like a quote-unquote shield it was like a fog yeah it was just this empty foggy area and you weren't sure what was over there until you stepped out and had the cutscene that introduced you to the city mm -hmm. but no if if you do if you just yeah, get in say, and then it, somebody flies you up you see it flies Emma. you up you will see it you see emra Ah. Yeah, so it just appears. <laughs> if you're just like I said, like if somebody is flying you, yes, you will we'll see, see it way Emma. earlier than what you're supposed to. But if you're, if yeah, you, you're if not you gonna see it. Yeah, you see you're it. not gonna see it as crystal clear. You might mm -hmm. see an outline, but you're not necessarily sure exactly what it is. But yeah, mm -hmm. someone coming with you and they fly you up, you will actually see Amara. Mm -hmm. Even from here, like even from on yep. your cups, you will see Amara. Mm hmm yep exactly so just do your msq you'll get there eventually because trust me like we, we've seen if, it we saw it firsthand and we were like we've seen it firsthand and we're just like but why but everybody's not invested in the story because honestly when i saw this for the first time it blew me away <laughs> i told you but no. i was like <laughs> wow but yep yeah. Uh, I love that view. I love the colors. I think this was with color marker one, and I also use uh, some of the artificial light. Mm -hmm. um, it was tight to light, and I pretty much had all the lights on equal, pretty much like equal strength, so around four or five. Mm 
for the backdrop because if not your character is going to be very dark okay as far as shadowy wise <clears throat> it's a good photo so all right let's look at your next one yay next one Yes, this is also let us say the second cave of wonders. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm I'm pretty sure you rem- uh, if you remember this, I think this is like one of the few fishing holes. Mm-hmm. I think around in the whole game, and this is also the cave that will start leading you down into Amaroth. I think going into Amaroth at the very start as you're going down. But mm-hmm. I love I just love it because of the hanging plant life with that blue glow. And I also wanted to capture the little, I guess they're barnacles mm-hmm. that like glowing and like showing, showing you the way down. Like, okay, here's your doorway here, go here, you know, everything like that. I think I made a mistake one time when going through here the first time I wasn't paying attention because nice. I was like too busy, like, wow. And I fell right over the side. My, my heart <laughs> jumped mm-hmm. <laughs> because as soon as I landed, it was just like, Oh, there are mobs down here. <laughs> but no, I, I I love this picture though. No, it's nice. I like that you captured the the how fluorescent everything looks. So nice picture. Thank you. Okay. It's, it's so gorgeous. Next one, going to Amara. Yes. Oh, Amara. Again, one of one of my favorite places. I think this one was uh, sepia, and I wanted to do it like in a cinema style, like it was almost like a movie. Mm-hmm. And all like the destruction and getting the detail and everything like that. But yeah, it was yeah, just to see it from the place that it is when you go visit to this, it was just like okay, this is heartbreaking. This is, uh. But it looks like this scene would be in a like Armageddon type movie. <laughs> what I find really interesting, and this is just more about all of your photos today, is like that you took a darker approach to the pictures. Like not like the, the subject matter was darker, but the pictures themselves were a little darker. Uh, if that makes any yeah, sense, I think that makes sense. I think for me, when I did it that way for Amara specifically is and it it is a lighting thing amaroth already has a lot of natural lighting in and of itself brightening it up Mm -hmm. actually to me destroys it it does then you see a lot of the blurring you know and it 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 becomes not as profound when you see like bright buildings bright light (laughs) in a lot of pictures and I think I tend to feel like sometimes, depending on what the area is, you want to highlight the emotions behind stuff. And Amaroth is one of those. So darkening the pictures a bit brings out what's already naturally there. It makes it more dramatic, I think, for me. Yes, I mean, I mean that's what basically it was going for. Is it's that dramatic feel, like. To me, I kind of associate with the brighter colors being, oh, it's more happy. It's a lighter mood, but it's just like for, even for the undo cups, um, doing it too bright, especially with some of the, uh, like the luminescent, like um, plant life and everything that are already in there. If you try to brighten it, it becomes too bright. Like this is like I can see on um, PC and G Shape, you can better you better can control it in a way depending on which preset that you use. But as far as like from you know our case, like console or using vanilla, it's a little bit harder to control in my. Opinion. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's like that's why I did kind of go dark on this one, and like I said, like going a little bit brighter on this, especially for the area. It it didn't feel right. It felt it was gonna be either too bright, blurry, and Amaroth is just one of those cities. Amaroth is for it is forever Gotham. Like it's always dark. It's always brooding. So 
<laughs> to see it in like, oh, it's bright and sunny like Metropolis. No, see, I didn't not. see it as dark. And, <laughs> but see, okay, so we kind of differ there. I didn't see it as dark and brooding. I kind of saw no, it I mean, as not a little broody. bit more advanced. And it well, was... Not- <laughs> Well, not broody, but I mean, that's how Gotham is. Gotham is like, every time you saw any animated Gotham. But that's Batman. Well, Batman, yeah, Batman <laughs> it's like, it's Gotham. It's dark. It's broody. It's like, again, like you said, big O in the animated series. This well, is then a, if they had a baby. But I also, but like by the time you got down into it, you I also saw it as a metropolis. Because I tend to think that, again, it's one of those, they were a lot more advanced. So mm-hmm. they got to do those. So to me, it was truly like you going and what people would kind of envision downtown New York would like mm-hmm. <laughs> type deal. No, I, I so believe- I, mm-hmm. I just kind of didn't see it as dark like that. I kind of saw it as if this was like a, this is like a city, like, cause you know, I don't like going to downtown in any way in nobody mm-hmm. city. But like, if I wanted, if I, if there was a downtown that looked like this, then yeah, I would go into that because I see it as it's a lot of architecture and it was a lot more advanced and you kind of want to show the detailing of that versus just a lot of washed out colors or making it so bright, you know, bright and, you know, illuminating because it's a city. (laughs) And if anybody been downtown, you don't want the city to be bright and illuminating. (laughs) You, you, do, you want to capture you know the darkness of the concretes and things like that because those are so much more detail in there that get missed when you lighten everything up but again i'm a naturalist when it like when i, I don't want to say i'm a naturalist when it comes to stuff but i like to see the details and the little finer pictures the finer stuff in a picture oh no understandable mm-hmm all right, let's go to Nien's before we run too much over time. Okay. Ooh. Stream catch up with me. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about this place, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did not saw Nian go in there. That's why I did not go in there. <laughs> Was it the first one I sent? Yeah, it's the first yeah. one. Okay. <laughs> I honestly forgot about that place. So I like I went in there and I was planning to just take pictures of some of the like some of his work areas and stuff like that. I for I never noticed that the center part had trees. Mm-hmm. Until I was just moving the camera around willy nilly, like uh, seeing if I could get a good angle, and I was like, "Wait a minute, there's a tree." Oxygen. <laughs> yeah, all the yeah, oxygen. It did, didn't occur to me that that's how he maybe has oxygen down there. <laughs> didn't even question it. But this is actually with um, this is with posterization, with the lighting turned all the way up so you could actually see all the different. Um, details in it. Mm-hmm. I like. I don't it. think I put a. I don't think I put a filter over it. If I did, it was probably like something subtle, like um, wall. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-mm, no, I like it. I do like you can see the different colors, and they, everything seems to pop out, and it's not overshadowing. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's like a really nice. It's just enough light. But not like make it blinding, but it's giving just enough detail for everything, and you can make everything out without certain areas being too dark. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like honestly, posterization works the best in there. Like the other filters looked fine for other things, but for this mm-hmm. p- spot in particular, posterization was like the only option that looked really good. Oh, this is gorgeous! I really Thank love you. the detail. Yeah. So now we're on to the door. Your second photo you sent. The door to nowhere. I kind of wish you could. You had an option to like open the door, <laughs> so you ha- <laughs> so you had the uh, the fire and everything that leads into mm-hmm. Amarot. Mm-hmm. Because 
Like that would that would be a, an even cooler picture. I'd ha- I'll have to go into New Game Plus to play with that. Yeah. But I love the like Art Nouveau art Art Deco style of Amarot itself, just in general. But I feel like it really comes alive in here, specifically that wall <laughs> with it with the marbling and the gold. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's just it's so pretty. It is. I do like it. All right. Now to the third picture. And this is actually a really good shot of going up into, like, you're meeting up, growing up to the third boss. Mm-hmm. I I had a lot of fun making this one. <laughs> Pro- probably a little bit too much. I think I spent the most on this one than I did any of the other pictures. <laughs> which <laughs> and it's just because like, there's so much going on in that last area that it's it can get a little overwhelming in the picture. Like it can get too busy real quick, mm-hmm. or. Some of the filters make things way too bright, even when you bring down the brightness. Oh, yeah. So Which finding... filter did you use for this one? Um, this one was bright two, I believe. Bright one or bright two. And I put the... Um... Oh, goodness, what's it called? <laughs> the ring around the edge. Can't oh, okay. I can't remember what it's called, <laughs> but I put that around the edge and kind of colored it a little to match the purple mm-hmm. in the photo. P- played with the brightness a little. I want to say I put like a, a light filter over this one as well, and it was it was just to cut the brightness down. Mm-hmm. Right. I was looking at that. I was like, this is like construction paper. Yeah, I put construction <laughs> paper over it because it was one that didn't obscure from the picture itself or add too much. Mm-hmm. But it was able to like tone down some of the brightness of the of that center galaxy, just enough so that it wasn't just a white ball. Because all the colors in that are gorgeous, and I really wanted to capture those mostly. Well, you did a really good job with that. Mm-hmm. Because I know that can be difficult. Like, uh, yes, that can be difficult because it is already so bright. Mm-hmm. And you don't oh, want, yeah. it, especially with the uh, the planet, like even around those edges, if you have it too bright, that's just going to be like just glowing like a beacon and make your picture overall blurry looking. That's a good balance. Yeah. Thank you. Good job, everybody. I think Yay. we did well. I think everyone Finger was snaps. on their A game. Mm-hmm. Finger snaps, especially for the art deco one. All right. So, ah, time to say goodbye to Amara. Bye, Amara. <laughs> goodbye, Amara. <laughs> and then, meanwhile, I forget how to get out of here. <laughs> oh, I just. Click on the duty right beside and click leave. All right. So with that being said, I think we did very well today. Um, and I'm pretty sure we will come back to do more photos because we oh, yeah. probably didn't even get to see most of the stuff. That could, I mean, that some of the, the buildings too. Yeah, some of the buildings and things oh, yeah. like that. So de- definitely... We're going to come back, you know, offline and be able to take pictures. Or, you know, you never know. You might catch us go online this week doing some more photos. Yes. Um. So, with that being said, uh, I think we are going to be done. Now, we are planning on doing... um another photo this week we will actually be uh we'll be doing another stream this week 
mainly because we need to get um we actually need to get a little some of the stuff wrapped up this week so that everyone can have a little bit of a break by in walker and not have to worry about <laughs> everything so do a lot of their last minute leveling or catching up or anything else that they need to get done so we will be live again tomorrow well not tomorrow on tuesday yeah we'll be live on tuesday <laughs> Ooh, time tied all the way at the end so with that being said we want to wish everybody thank you for coming we really appreciate it and we hope everyone enjoyed today's podcast. Yes. And while we are all unwinding and getting ready to go off, hmm, who do we like to see today? You know what? Let's do this. So we haven't did this one in a while, but we think you all are going to enjoy her. Uh, we're going to send you guys over to Krev, who is currently doing Mario Party Superstars. Oh, Lord. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, I think you guys are going to have fun. She's very, very nice. She's been in the Final Fantasy community for a, quite a long time. She is retired military, and she's had a, actually a very welcoming community. So, if you don't know her, please go check her out. Go hang out, say hello, see how she's doing. Go enjoy Mario Party Superstars with her. And we will see you guys on Tuesday. See y'all on Tuesday. Bye. You have hosted it.